that looks delicious. So today we're doing definitely surf and surf, right? We're definitely. Land and sea. We're going all out. And, uh, <laughs>
but it's all like a uh, banana brulee. Ooh, it's, it looks and with so the cherry. pretty. Yeah. And it looks good. Yeah, it looks good. So I can't wait to try it. <laughs> all right, ding. ding. Cheers. So let's <laughs> try this. Cheers. Over at, uh, over at um, Regal Ooh. It tastes a lot like cucumber, very refreshing. It's not a sweet drink. And I'm going to take that back. It is sweeter. Mm. Was the alcohol on the bottom? It. it was all in the bottom, so mm -hmm. once I mixed it in, it had that more cucumber flavor, kind of sweet a little bit, and it wasn't so, uh, it wasn't just the seltzer water. Gotcha. I was getting the seltzer all, water all because the it was, was in the top. Not on the bottom there. Yeah, it was on the bottom, but you can see now that now that I mixed it, it's even got a, a darker green yeah. color, and it's a lot sweeter, but this is a delicious drink, remember, so guys, I take that back. Remember guys, mix your drinks. Mix it once you get this <laughs> one, because what they do, what happens is the seltzer water is the last thing, I mean, yeah. the seltzer water is the last thing they put on the drink, so it stays in the top. So basically, I was just tasting just the salsa so, so water at the top. So I would <laughs> recommend to mix it, and it becomes yeah. a fantastic or magtastic drink. Uh, look at how awesome this punch oh, looks. Look at that. Really good. Take off, can we take off the garnish here for now? Let me try it here. Oh, oh yeah. This is really good. Tropical. I can taste the guava, the pineapple. Ooh, mixed with the rum. Excellent. Ooh. And I like the mm. color. It looks so pretty. Yeah. Look at that. Really Ooh. good. I don't know. I like these islandy kind of drinks, you know? Why not? I like mojitos, like the, the, the island punch here, or like a, a pina colada. I love pina coladas. This is really good. If you like something super fruity, tropical. And then let me go ahead. I got to try this. I'll leave the cherry for Magnus. Let me try the banana. Ooh, how does the banana, right? Mm -hmm. I'll take a sip. Mm, really good. I'll leave this one for you, but I recommend this drink. It's awesome. Yay, appetizers have arrived. Um, I get, I did get the slow roasted pork belly here. And it comes with a spiced apple and cherry gastric here. So as you can see, it's a big piece of pork belly over here. And it looks beautiful. Wow. Wow. Really it good. It does. It's beautiful. <laughs> I love the presentation. Yeah. Ooh, look what Magnus is having. Oh my god, this is a lot. Yeah, this is the Prince Edward Island Mussels. Uh, wow. It comes with fresh herbs and Chardonnay broth here. Wow. Your, it looks, your appetite looks more spectacular than mine. Uh, to be honest. Oh, both of them look amazing. Yeah. This is a lot. I didn't expect it That's to be That's a lot so of muscles, much, yeah. It's good for the price. Why not? All right, people are cheering. People are yeah, happy people here. Yeah, people are and happy. I think somebody's birthday or yeah. some, some kind of celebration. Everybody's sure. happy. <laughs> Time to try this pork belly. Let's try it. Yeah. So over here is, uh, I, I don't know if I mentioned, this is a cheddar cheese croquette that goes with the long side with the pork belly here. So let's try the croquette here. Cut it in here. Ooh, look at that. Look how soft wow, the croquette is. So yeah, look at that. Really good. Let me try that now. Sorry, guys, about the lighting, but it's yeah. a little bit dim in here. And it's a little busy today. So I'm sorry if you. We're, we're trying to make sure that you guys hear us and see us clearly. Definitely. The croquette, excellent. Silky smooth. I can taste the cheese in there. Ooh. And the crispness on the outside. So you can see there. Really good, the croquette. Wow. Yeah, that looks mm. really delicious. Let me go ahead and try the pork belly here. Try the pork belly. Let's see if it's better than citricose. Yeah. The one you had at citricose. Citricose was, was pretty really good, good, but this was this piece is way bigger. <laughs> I was gonna say this is a bigger piece Thank here. You, wow, look at that. Yeah. Let's go ahead and try wow. it. I love pork. It looks very pork meaty. Belly. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Wow. <laughs> There's a sweetness to the pork belly. Soft, tender, crispy on the edges out here. I wanted to show you guys. Right here on the edges are crispy. Wow. This is excellent. This goes well with the, with the croquette. You do it with the pork belly itself. Right here, do it together. If I can get it on there, <laughs> as you can see. Oh, it fell off. Mm. Wow. You like pork? You like pork belly? The croquettes goes excellent with it. I recommend this appetizer. So good. Alright, here 
Magma's love with the mussels. Magma loves mussels. If you guys know, she loves seafood. Ooh, I like the colors a little bit Michelle. different from the other mussels. So if you guys are into mussels like me, let me know. Are you guys any fans of like the mussels? mussels the seafood? Let us know in the comments seafood. below. Let me know. Let us know. I mean, I really enjoy it. So I'm going to try this one. And if you look, look at the broth here. And it smells so good. And just mix it in with the broth there. Oh my gosh. And it smells so buttery good. Oh my god. The broth is fantastic. Does it enhance the muscle? Oh my god, yes. It's like, okay, I had it at Cape May and I had mussels in other places. Yeah, at the, at the, recently at the art festival. At the art festival as well. But these mussels are incredible. <laughs> the broth. Gives it that special flavor and it is magtastic. Oh, very nice. <laughs> so, they do have bread service here. Uh, this bread service here is potato bread with shallots inside, as you can see there. Yeah, and there's big pieces, big pieces of uh, well, shallots right on there. there. Yeah. yeah, there's a thick, thick loaf there also. And, and then, then this here is a triple whipped butter with salt and it was that parsley on the, on the top. Yeah, there. it looks like a little parsley. Yeah. Wow, and I like it, like, it has like a little design. It's like a wafer, right? Like, yeah. Know, like a vanilla wafer design. <laughs> yeah, so let's go ahead, try the bread here. Let me try it with some of that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks really good. That looks you know, really good. That's I gotta say that piece of bread is very thick too. Yeah, and it but it's soft, yeah. toasty on the outside, but mm -hmm. on the inside it's soft, yeah. like like spongy. Mm. Bread service is good. I yeah. like this potato bread. Mm. Mm. And then with the close with the well with the butter, the triple oh, with yeah, butter. Oh, take the shallots. The shallots right there, yeah. Big salt. So normally they do offer the bread service in the beginning. We didn't show it to you because they actually they, uh, they actually forgot to bring in the bread service, so they brought it after the appetizer. But you will get this first, okay? Yeah. So, but the, for for as as far as your opinion, the bread is good. The bread is good. Yeah. Magnus, why don't you dip that bread in the sauce? Guys, here, yeah. this broth is so good for this muscles. Yeah. Let's try it with I can the bread. Like drink this. Look yeah. what I'm gonna do. This is how good this is. <laughs> Call me oh, crazy. Yeah. This is oh, yeah. how good this this broth is. Yeah. It's that garlicky flavor, kind of buttery. Oh my god! <laughs> mm. Oh, that just sucks up all the all the beautiful broth there. Oh, delicious. <laughs> but we have two different um, white wines. This one, both of them are going to be on the sweeter side. Uh, this one right here is going to be a riesling, and then um, this one right here we do recommend it's on the sweeter. Oh. Now we go wine. Now, now we'll go well with your uh, with the scallops too. Yeah, with, the with, the muscle. with the muscle and, and scallops. There you go. <laughs> awesome. So this is it. Yeah. Try that. Go try this one. This is the one that she recommended. Our wonderful server here, Lindsay. <laughs> Lindsay knows what I like. <laughs> Our entrees have arrived. Oh uh, I did God. get the char crusted New York strip steak, as you can see here on the outside. Uh, it comes with Malay filo potato gr uh, gratin, which is right over here. Uh, we also have on here the cauliflower colors. Cauliflower colors, so there's different types of colors on the cauliflower. I like it. So pretty. You like that? And Bernay sauce. And I did get the enhancement here of the uh, cold water lobster tail, as you can see. Wow. Pretty big piece of lobster. Look at that. And it goes right over to my steak. Oh my God, it looks so good. That looks delicious. So Magus got the filet mignon, as you can see there. The filet mignon, it comes with asparagus, sweet onion risotto, and truffle sauce. Ooh, look at and for enhancement, she got three scallops here, very nice and seared. Wow. Oh, that looks so good. That looks delicious. So today we're doing definitely surf and turf, right? We're definitely. Land and sea. Going all out. Uh, <laughs> all right, can't wait to dig into this. I'm gonna move the lobster to the side right here. Paul's having yeah. this delicious uh, steak here. Yeah, New York strip here. Wow, look at that. Mm. Mm, and nice, it's nice and charred. Medium well, also. So wow, nice little color. Pink. All right, right here. Mm. <laughs> so good. Mm. Juicy. 
I love New York strip steak. If you guys don't, that's my favorite cut of meat. Nice and charred, like like as, as is advertised. Inside the meat is nice and juicy. Mmm, that sauce on the top, excellent. Now, I'm gonna try the lobster, see how it is. You can see the size of his lobster is pretty big yeah, here. Yeah, you can see the tail. It's, yeah. Wow. Let me cut into the lobster here. The lobster is usually a little bit thick. Mm -hmm. There we go. But well, that looks delicious. Oh, Look let me that. get it. Cut into the skin here. There we go. I guess you can see. Wow, look at that. That looks so good. Cheers. Oh. oh. How is that, man? Oh. Juicy, buttery. Oh my god. I love lobster. I'm not sure if you guys like lobster. Uh, comment down below if you guys like lobster as much as I do. But not, surf and turf, steak and lobster is definitely the way to go. Excellent. Oh, and before I forget, let me go ahead and try the potato here. Oh, okay. Ooh, look at that. Nice and soft and crispy on the outside. Yeah, look at that. Like a little block. Yeah, a little block and layer. Yeah, look at that. Wow. And we're going to mix it up with the nice cauliflower. I love cauliflower, guys. All right, so I like how it has different colors, yeah. Colorful mm -hmm. cauliflower, very pretty All right. dish. Cheers. And I'm, I'm imagining it's gonna taste delicious. Mm. Very wow. delicious, savory. The potato is so good. Mm, nice and flaky and crispy, toasty on the outside. And the cauliflower is so good. Look how beautiful the purple cauliflower is. Oh, I love it. The vegetables are excellent, it goes well with the steak and the lobster. All right, look at this here. She's cutting into the filet mignon. Oh, look, and I had it medium well. Yeah, yeah. I don't so like pink. it where it's too raw. Yeah. Let me cut it in so you guys can see. See, it's still a little pink. A little pink, but not, not, not red. super raw. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Let me try it with a little bit of the green here. Or the Ooh, and the oh, look at the mushrooms there. Look at the mushrooms. <laughs> I like the mushrooms here. Yeah, that looks good. That looks Ooh. so good. Oh. How, how is that filet mignon? I barely had a chew it. <laughs> soft, huh? The flavor is so good. It's juicy. It's soft. Tender. Flavorful. Very savory. And with that uh, truffle sauce. Oh, wow. Delicious. Now, let me try the scallops really quick here. Oh, yeah. They, get, they look super oh, soft, the scallops. Also. Look at that. Delicious, and they're thick. Look like huge medallions. <laughs> they're nice and seared. I see there. Mm. Ooh. Does it, does the scallops go well with the uh, filet mignon? Perfect. Mm. Perfect. <laughs> they're nice and soft. They're not chewy. They're usually scallops are already sweet, little chewy, but right? This is like or sweeter. Sweeter. Okay. And they're, they're not nice chewy. and seared. And I just want to let you know that they, of course, they do have. A menu for children, so like a family style restaurant. Um, they start out with the kids' appetizers. They have the chicken noodle soup. They have a romaine lettuce, a salad. Uh, you can uh, have salmon for the kids, red snapper, which was very nice. Chicken breast, uh, pasta with marinara. Uh, you got grilled steak for them, and then you know you can add the uh, enhancements to them. They have the asparagus, green beans, carrots, mac and cheese. Uh, fruit on the Palm Islands. Ooh, that's very nice. More time at the beach. Oh, that sounds fun. Wow. How how is the dinner so far, babe? Ooh, I'm trying to drink some wine. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have a little yeah. food coma right now. Yeah, we're in a little food coma here. As you can see, we uh, we did not like our plates at all, especially that lobster tail. I did not like it at all. <laughs> Everything so far, the so dinner. far yeah. has been delicious. It's been incredible the manager came by i said look the appetizer those muscles were the best muscles i've ever had in my life honestly that special broth so good this the filet mignon has been amazing and the charred steak new york steak for fall i had some of his oh my god and that lobster and the scallops delicious. fantastic delicious so far this meal has been excellent uh, and now we're just waiting while we're in coma here, <laughs> waiting for dessert, the dessert. best part. So let's see what we get. Looking forward to it. Yeah. And we did receive the menu here for the dessert. 
These are the specialty coffee cocktails, dessert cocktails. You have the espresso martini here. You have the peanut butter freeze, so that looks good. The, bar, the boardwalk cafe looks really good too. And the hand pressed uh, Venice style flying fish signature coffee blend right here. So all these are the signature drinks the, for desserts. And then they have the desserts here. You have the cocoa breach here. They have the creamy goat cheesecake, which I think Mavis is going to get. Yeah, I'm going to get that. They have the 50th Celebration Midnight Lemon. And they have the key lime cake here, which is plant-based. And uh, if you don't want any uh, sweet, uh, sweet desserts, they have the tasting of artisan cheeses, which is a brilliant serene VSOP Gouda, uh, Thomasville Tome, and Truffle Tremor with Smoky Blue. So these are the options here for dessert. Yeah, and I like it. It comes in this cute little book. All, that, all these books, yeah. <laughs> very, very good. It goes with the theme in here. Yeah, very fancy. <laughs> I, I've noticed a couple unique things in the restaurant. One thing that caught my eye is the bar. The ceiling of the, or the top of the bar is bottles. So it's all full of bottles and it's really unique. It's like these yellow bottles that yeah, are very all, bright. Yeah, they're all in like next to each other. And they're all yeah. like laid in order. out. Yeah. It's so look like pretty. wine bottles, like empty wine bottles. It's empty wine bottles, yeah. but it's like a yellow like mustard color. It's yeah, so really cool. Really it makes cute. it makes the bar pop, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dessert has arrived. Wow, look at Magnus's uh, creamy goat cheesecake. Here we go. Wow. Look at, that beautiful. Look at the art. Look at this there. presentation. Yeah, and this uh, the cheesecake comes with the honey glaze, uh, cashew yeah. gel, and pistachio cake here. Wow. And look at this, this looks like two little like holes. Or... Yeah, those are the best of cheesecake itself. Oh my god, it's wow. so pretty. And to go along with that, she did get the Boardwalk Cafe drink here. Look at oh, this. look at the whipped cream on it's, top it's of that. And it's hot, here. it's a warm drink. It's a warm drink, it looks really good. Look at how cute. I love it with the salted yeah. caramel in the top. And, I, uh, and I did, we did show you the menu, but just to reiterate, this drink comes with uh, Marker's Mark Bourbon. It comes with salted caramel, which I love, and Magnus loves also. You can see the drizzle on top there. On top here. The Flying Fish Avenue style coffee blend. And first you made cream on top, which is melting. So babe, let's go ahead and drink that quick. Oh <laughs> my god, this is yeah. so good. I'm gonna get it all over yeah. me. Mmm, how is it? Oh my god. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. Oh, this is so good. You can see good. the cream already dripping down and on the I side there. And I can taste because this has bourbon in it. Yes. But it is so sweet, so good. You can barely taste the bourbon. So this is a hot, sweet, dangerous, dangerous drink. drink. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and try this goat cheesecake here. Ooh. Ooh, let me try with a little bit of everything yes. here. Oh so, my so god, good. look at this. You look at oh, I think this is the pistachio, this is the cheesecake, and I forgot what this is, but it is so good though. <laughs> that is pistachio, like the, 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 the cream, right? The cream, yeah. yeah. The cream is a pistachio, but I don't know what the little other stuff is. I know you did mention it. Yeah. I'll look it up again. But this is so good. Let's go ahead and try it. Oh, oh you've already got that? Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, it's, and how's the goat cheese? And they make like. Oh my god, it does. Yeah, with it, it's like a sweet or. Very light, sweet, creamy, cheesy, sweet flavor, like cheesecake. A little tart. And you get that pistachio flavor. Ugh, amazing. Well, these are the nuts, by the way. Ah, so those are the, the yeah. grinded pistachio. Yeah. And then let's go ahead, let's try the little arch here. And I think the little arch here, yeah. I don't want to break it, it's so pretty. It's so pretty, yeah. Actually, I'm going to get a little piece here. Yeah. White chocolate. <laughs> ah, okay. So you were correct there. So the, yeah. the, the pistachio nuts, the cream, and the cream, the, the, the green cream. That's that, the pistachio. That's the pistachio yeah, with really, the pistachio nuts. It tastes really good. Yeah. I like how the cheesecake is very creamy. Yes, I see that. Okay. It's thick. But it's more like a thick, very thick pudding, and it's light. And I did go with the plant-based key lime cake. Normally, I don't get plant-based items, but I was recommended by the server to try it because she, she said that it did not taste plant-based at all. It really tastes like key lime. So I'm going to go ahead and try it. Uh, it comes with coconut lime mousse, guava, and a tropical coolis. So 
so and, uh, which I think the, the cup, tropical cool is this. Uh, I think it is. Yeah, but it's it's nice. Look, it's, it's kind of hard too. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and try it. It looks really pretty though. All right, let's go ahead first. Taste impression. Let me dive into here. Ooh, look at the nice blueberries here and the key lime. And I know some whipped cream here. Wow, that looks All right. delicious. All right, cheers. For me, it tastes like key lime pie. And it's light, no? Key lime pie, yeah, very light. You know what's funny? It's not even green looking. Like, no. Normally, Remember you get a key lime based. pie, it's like yellow, yeah. green, lime color. For wow. plant based, like I said, it's really good. It tricks me. I, if you didn't tell me it was plant based, I would have not known. So, mmm, really good. Let's try this beautiful purple. Like I said, Magma thinks it's sugar, so let me I go ahead. I think it's sugar, but don't really see something like that as like sugar. Yeah. It's really pretty. Yeah. Yeah, it's like like a brulee sugar, like a flame sugar, fried sugar. Really good. Woo! We have a huge food coma right now. <laughs> food coma. That dinner was magtastic. <laughs> yeah, wow. everything was incredible. Now we know why they call this Flying Fish one of the best signature restaurants yes, on definitely. Disney property. Definitely. Because everything we had was Mactastic. Yes. There Every was nothing yeah. that we can say it was yeah. negative. <laughs> Everything from the drinks, the specialty cocktails, the appetizers, oh. those mussels. The mussels? I mean, like I said, the I don't like mussels. I've ever had. Those were excellent. Yes, the even best. Paul had them. I was like, what are you doing? And he's like, I want some more. <laughs> yeah, those mussels are excellent. My pork belly. You saw the big piece of pork belly I oh, had? Oh, wow. It's and so with that good. croquette. Oh, you know, we say in Spanish, croquetas. Croquetas. Oh, there's, that was excellent. And the chef came over to Paul to see Paul because he's allergic to um, celery. Celery. So they wanted to make sure, like, you know, everything was okay. And uh, they wanted to uh, put confidence that it, they didn't make anything with celery with my food. Yeah, because I think his uh, his pork belly was supposed to have celery seeds. Yeah. So they wanted to make sure they did it yeah. in a special way where it would not affect them in it any way. It affect at all. Thank God. But it was great. <laughs> great. Uh, the entrees were excellent. Uh, Magnus's uh, oh. filet mignon with the scallops. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> it was the best filet mignon I've had in a long, long yeah. time. And I had my the charbroiled... Uh, the charred, uh, the charred New York, York strip steak. steak. I'm thinking about her. Oh my <laughs> her God. filet mignon. It was yes, delicious. It's delicious. Medium well. Both our steaks were medium well. Um, the uh, lobster, lobster tail. Oh my God. His lobster was, was incredible. Huge, guys. Ch uh, was huge. Was big, uh, chunky, and it was buttery. Uh, buttery. Also, the the uh, tail was so yeah, good. It was the lobster so tail. So good. It uh, was incredible. And then finally, we ended up the with the dessert. Well, wow. That plant-based key lime. Oh, that surprised so me because I know I'm not into like you know myself I'm not a vegetarian or vegan but that that made me change my mind there for, for at least for the desserts at least for the desserts so yeah. that was excellent and it your, was excellent and your uh, the goat the goat cream cheesecake yeah the cheesecake the goat cheese flavor oh, oh it was my god so good wow and I love how they do the Pistachio, presentation yeah. was Pistachio amazing nuts. and the flavor oh, excellent, excellent. all incredible. <laughs> and before we forget, the service was incredible from our the server. host Stan and yeah. the hostess to Lindsay, which, which was is our, our server. server. She was excellent. To Gedrick, which was the chef. Yeah, one of the chefs and, that came I out. I mean, it was incredible. Service Great staff. outstanding Great service. on a signature restaurant. Always. Well, with that, on that note, if you found this uh, video useful and you enjoyed this video, because I know we did. We then, certainly <laughs> did. Uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe. subscribe. Tonight was a great night. Tonight definitely was a magtastic mag night. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you on the next Magtastic Productions. Productions. Bye, Bye, guys. guys.